It's impossible. I think a lot about authenticity. Um, I think a lot about authenticity. I think a lot about authenticity. I think about it a lot because it's very relevant to how I conduct myself. My main source of income for the last two years has been my primary channel, which is an explicitly in-your-face, hyper-inauthentic channel. That is the philosophy that guides it. It's inauthenticity. That is one of the core underlying themes of the channel that I try to hammer home. And I think a lot about authenticity. I think about it even right now because of how I come across. You know, I knew that I was going to start this video by saying... I think a lot about authenticity and then go from there. And even that, even that is another separation between me and me coming across genuinely in my own head. And I think I may have been acting off the assumption that, you know, that, that authenticity is impossible on the internet. And that might be wrong, that might be very wrong, and it might be even stupid to think that because, well, here's the, here's the logical argument, like, if inauthenticity is impossible on the internet, is it possible in real life? Because I don't think, you know, surely there's more barriers on the internet than in real life. Maybe, I think you could make that argument, but if it's possible to be authentic in real life, there's plenty of barriers to authenticity in real life. There's a million barriers. So what, what does it mean to be authentic? I guess that's the question. That's what I think about. That's what I wonder about. And I'm the kind of person that gets really disgusted when he sees something that strikes him as inauthentic. And I don't know if that's a healthy trait of mine to, to like see something that isn't authentic and be like, ooh, this isn't good because... It's not authentic. They're manipulating their audience, blah, blah, blah. As though the audience cares that they're being manipulated. As if I have to be the moral arbiter of why they're being manipulated the way they are. And I have to say, no, you have to be authentically manipulating people. Like, that's the question, I suppose. I don't really know what I'm saying. Authenticity. I think, I think it's possible to be authentic on the internet. And my hypothesis is authenticity is just a matter of trying to be authentic, okay? So right now, I'm trying to be authentic. And it might, it might come across... Hello? Hello? Hi, how are you? I'm fine. How are you doing, sir? Good. Yes, I'm calling from the event cleaning service. And that's how you know that this is authentic. I'm going to leave that in. I'm going to leave that in and I'm going to block that number because I don't care about the air duct cleaning services. Not really. Not really. Authenticity. It's all about trying to be authentic and being honest with the barriers between you and authenticity. I guess in this case, it's the camera. I'm not talking to a person, I'm talking to a camera, okay? Step one. Step two, I have an image and, um, you know, if, if you have an image, and luckily my image is kind of loosey-goosey, I can do whatever I want, but some people, I mean, most people in my position have to maintain a certain image if they're a family-friendly guy, then they gotta maintain a family-friendly image. Because you pop that illusion and all of a sudden, oh shit, the brand is destroyed. Oh no, not the brand. And I say that, you know, with a bit of irony, but of course, no, not the brand. That's your money, that's your income. So, and you know, whether or not they should be so attached to the brand or if that's just a spook remains to be seen. But, um, I digress.
that's the second layer. That's the thing that you have to move towards to move towards uh, authenticity. It's like, how can I express myself genuinely, but also in a way that fits with my brand? I can't. I can't do that. There's no way of doing it. And I think that's why I haven't been able to make this kind of video on this channel in a while. Because I think to myself, I have this, this intangible thing called an image and I have to maintain that image. And by maintaining that image, I must only place things within this neat little box that I've constructed for myself that everybody can agree is the persona. And anything that falls outside the persona breaks the illusion. So, of course, you know, you make this character and you make this idea of a character and this idea of a person. And everybody just eventually, I think, forgets that there is like a person, person beyond the persona, which is fine. That's how it should be. Not everybody can look. If you had to go through your YouTube feed and be like, mm, all these people are real human beings instead of just content machines, that might get a little fucky brain wise. And it does get fucky brain wise, especially because sometimes you forget that the illusion is an illusion and you think, okay, this person is real. Yo. Hey. What's up? Nothing, you just called me. Oh, I did? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was a mistake in that case. Um, oh, yeah, missed your call, 556. No, no, I did not call you as far as I, as far as I know. Um, sorry about that. I'm actually, I'm actually just recording a video right now. Wow. Yeah. Well, maybe you can include this clip. I was just about to ask you if you'd be okay with that because uh, it's like a video about authenticity and I think it's really I think it'd be really fun if like I did it all in one take and then I didn't edit it at all because it makes it seem more authentic it adds the illusion of authenticity sick all right see ya this video is going excellently um <laughs> that's what that's another thing I wanted to say right during, during what I just said there, it sounds like the illusion is cracking a little bit, right? Because I say, okay, I'm trying to be authentic here. And then, you know, you listen to how I talk to somebody else. And I said to Dave, my friend, who I played tennis with, who just played tennis. It was pretty good. I like tennis. Um, I said to him, the illusion of authenticity is being reinforced by doing this all in one take and like having those phone calls happen. And that, my friends, is all part of the game. Because I I sat down, well, I didn't sit down, but I had the idea, you know, I'm gonna start it off like this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, and if this or this happens, then I'm just gonna leave it in. After a certain point, you have no way of telling if I'm being authentic or not. This could all be staged. I could have told him to call me right there. You know, all that shit exists and is real. But um, at the same time, it's, you have to just trust. At a certain point, you have to be like, I trust this person to be authentic. And I suppose I live in a world of disconnected, disassembled things. I live in a world of noise. Um, so I guess a big part of why I love the inauthenticity angle on my first channel on my big channel is because it brings you the viewer into the world of noise it makes you kind of in this paranoid schizo state where you're questioning everything um, and <clears throat> that is very much my experience with being alive um, and so I suppose it's sort of like me kind of trying to inject you with mental illness ah. I think a lot about authenticity um, what it means to be authentic and if it's important to be authentic, and I think somewhere along the line, I may have stopped trying. And I think that it is something that is worth trying for. Um, that's not to say, you know, I'm not knocking my, my main channel. I still try to put pieces of authenticity in there, uh, even in every video if I can. But it's a slippery slope, and I don't want to lose myself. Um, and I think maybe making this video and releasing this video is just sort of like exercising this part of my brain to make sure it hasn't atrophied away. Um, and... I'd like to post here more. Uh, 
because I have a lot of things that I want to say that don't really fit on my first channel, and I haven't been posting in here. I keep filming stuff to post here. I don't even know if I'll post this. I keep filming stuff to post here, and I don't put it post it here. Um, and 